People with no knowledge of how to create videos or stories are generating millions of views on different platforms, which are turning into a reliable source of income for the coming years. So, I've set out to analyze each of the success cases of all these creators, so that in today's video, you too can learn to create videos using four completely free and unlimited artificial intelligence tools. I'll also reveal my trick to use any AI model for free and legally to ensure you increase your chances of success. All right, the first tool we're going to use is Whisk. In it, we'll use some prompts I've prepared to avoid errors. I'm leaving them along with the rest of the prompts from today's video and the direct links to all the tools in a free PDF on the Discord in the description. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to get it. Whisk is a Google tool that allows us to generate all kinds of images and videos. In this case, what interests us are the images, because in a minute, I'm going to show you an extension that if we use it together with this platform, we can generate consistent batch images that will later transform into video to create eye-catching content. And above all, avoid the problem that showing a character at the beginning of the video that looks completely different from the one we see at the end. So the consistency problem will be solved. I'll show you step-by-step step how we'll use all these platforms together to create our video. First, go to the PDF in the Discord and copy the first prompt. With this prompt, the AI will investigate which are the most viral themes for this type of video, and will give you different ideas for you to choose the one you like the most. And to make sure it does this task well, we're going to go to LM Arena. You have the link in the PDF as well. And we'll select the most powerful GPT model currently available. In this case, this one. On the channel, you have a video where I explain how to use this platform well so you don't have any problems. But in short, using this method, you can use any AI for free, no matter if they are limited models. Once we paste our prompt, as you'll see, they'll give us a series of ideas. We're going to copy the one we like the most, and we're going to add the second prompt in the same chat. To this prompt, we're going to add the message it gave us, with the idea we liked before. And the result will be, first, some prompts with which we'll generate the characters of that story. Then, the style we want it to have, how we want them to look. And finally, the scene, which will be the place where what we want happens, where we want to record the video. And, most importantly, it's going to give us all the prompts we need in bulk. And you'll say, but Malba, this is annoying because I have to copy them one by one to generate all the images. Well, no, because with the extension I'm going to show you in a second, you can copy this entire list of prompts, paste it, and it will take care of inserting them one by one automatically into the application and downloading them without you having to do it manually. This is perfect if we want to create long videos or if we need to generate several images. This tool can have many functions. In this case, we're going to use it to create several consistent images. But well, before doing this, what we have to do is take the character prompt, paste it ourselves once, and once a character that seems interesting to us is generated and that fits the description, we take it to the left of the subject section. It's important that you verify that the yellow check mark is marked. Well, if in our case, in our scene, we want there to be two characters always, we have to click on the plus icon and simply generate the next one and upload it here. A section that I find very interesting is that if we already have a character in our brand, we can simply put ourselves on top of the subject and tell it that we want to upload our own image, in case we want the character that appears in what it creates to be from our own brand our own product, etc. If you want a video where I give you different use cases that can be given to this application, let me know in the comments. Well, we're going to do the same with the scene and the same with the style. Once we've done this, we have half the work done. The guide already knows exactly how we want our images to be. Now we're going to go to the AutoWhisk extension page. Remember that you have the direct link in the PDF that I have in the Discord in the description, and we're simply going to install it. We follow the steps you see on the screen. We select this option. We change the language, and now everything would be ready. We simply go back to the Whisk section, and here, as you can see, we have a box where we'll put our list of prompts. We're going to go back to LM Arena, copy them, and paste them here. As you can see, it indicates that it's very important that this panel remains open, and preferably, you don't change tabs while the whole process is being done to avoid errors. It even allows us to upload our text files in case you want to upload several, but, well, in principle, if you follow this process, you won't have any problem. We're going to copy our prompts and we're going to click Start. And as you can see, it will start generating each of the images without us having to touch anything. And as one is generated, it will download them to our device automatically. As this process is using unlimited tools, if you don't like it, don't hesitate to make some changes to the character, the scene, the style in each prompt. It has to be as good as possible, so don't hesitate to redo it as many times as you need. Well, now we're going to transform all these images into video. 
And I'm also going to show you the trick I use to create a voice that narrates our stories for this video and for the ones you want, for free and unlimitedly. So you never have to pay to generate voice with AI again. If you look at the result that MRN gave us, it not only gave us the prompts in bulk to copy to create the images, but it also gave us prompts to animate each of the results it gave us. Now, I'm going to give you two options for you to choose the one you like the most, and depending on the time you want to dedicate to each video. In one, we'll simply add the images to CapCut and apply a method so that they have a simple animation and don't have to be transformed into video. In the other, we'll transform the images into video one by one so that they have a more fluid movement and are more eye-catching for users. It depends on you and the time you want to dedicate, but I understand that not everyone has the same time to dedicate to a project. Choose what you consider best for you. Let's start with the simple animations. We're going to go to CapCut. We're going to paste each of our images, one in front of the other, and don't worry, in a minute, after showing you how to transform them into video, I'm going to show you how we'll put a voice under each of these images, so that the video has a narrator, if you don't want to narrate it with your own voice. Once we have all the images placed, we're going to add the following addition. I recommend you go to Effects and look for some, like Zim Lens. Apply them, lower their speed and range a bit, and you can feel free to explore which ones you think can be best applied to each video to apply camera movements, see things on screens, and so on. Just check that they don't have a diamond in the upper left corner because these are paid. We have to look for the free ones, like the one I told you is completely free. This will make it so that when people see the video, they don't see static images, but images with some movement, hundreds of effects, and other different things. In a second, we're going to add voice to this video, but first, I'm going to show you the other function, which is how to create the videos if we want to create animated content and not images with movement. Well, it's very simple. We're going to go to the Meta AI tool. Here we'll transform all our images into video. To do this, follow these steps exactly. Go to the Create section. Once here, click on the Video option, and you'll see that they'll ask us to upload our image. Simply, as we're going to the folder where these images were downloaded in the previous tool, we open it, and in Describe Your Animation, we're going to ask LM Arena, and in the same prompt as before, we're going to copy the animation prompt that corresponds to the first image. We paste it, we click Animate, and look how it gives it a natural and much more eye-catching animation with the moving image. Still, I repeat that this tool is free and unlimited. So if you don't like how a video was made because it can fail, just redo it. Re-upload the image and the prompt, change the prompt a bit, or try uploading other images. But it's very important that you go in order, one by one, and that you download them and put the number of the order in which you created it, because then we'll add voice to each of these videos. It's important that the voice matches what is said, so save them in order. Once we have our video, we simply click on it, and as you can see, it works perfectly. We can download it or add a restyle, but since we made sure before that they have the style we wanted, this won't be necessary. Once we have all our videos downloaded, we add them in CapCut, one next to the other. You can apply effects just like before if you want. You can edit it as much as you need, but now we're going to create the voice. There are dozens of tools to generate voice on the internet, but most are paid. I'm going to show you one that is completely free and unlimited. As always, you have the direct link in the PDF, which in a minute, I'll show you how to get. Well, we're going to go to Google's audio tools. We're going to add the style that the prompt gave us. Notice that there's a field that says voice style. This is a style that we have to always maintain. And what we're going to be changing is each of the lines of dialogue. We're going to be copying the message that was given to us before. We're going to paste them. And it's very important that you select a voice that you like. Go trying them out until you find one that is catchy to you. Ready to build something awesome today? Got a project in mind. What do you want to explore? Once you have it, simply click Generate and listen to the result. She lowers the crown and the office noise instantly vanishes. Just like before, go saving each audio clip in order and now go to Discord and put video clip one with audio track one. You can change the speed at which the video plays to match the audio track exactly and so on with each of them. You can add transitions and different effects to the videos just like before, but make sure they don't have the diamond because if they do, it won't let you download it without paying. And with this, we'd have it. She lowers the crown and the office noise instantly vanishes. Urgent warnings dissolve into harmless blue sparks against the metal. Smiling in the silence, she signs approvals without reading them. Outside her glass tower, a small pipe fracture quietly spreads. She watches people wave below, deaf to their panicked screams. The fracture bursts, and the water rises faster than thought. 
She rips the headset off and the roar rushes in. Alarm screamed the danger she had successfully ignored for hours. She rolls her sleeves, finally moving to stop the flood. The crown sits on a shelf now, clean but unworn. In meetings, she asks for the hardest news immediately. She lets the noise in, listening to stay safe. I've left you a method to generate images in batches unlimitedly, two options to create videos, and a perfect audio tool to generate what you need. I think all this deserves a like and a subscription. And well, as I promised you at the beginning, if you want to get the free PDF with all the prompts we used in today's video, in addition to the direct links to each of the tools, all you have to do is enter the Discord that I have in the description, go to the bot PDF channel, send a message to the bot as you see on the screen, send it a link of the video you want to receive the PDF for, follow the steps and it will return the PDF to you completely free. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.